what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts in the house once again and we're here with some more slam dunk reactions and it's this is one of those animes that i really really want to see how this ends um to see um what they're going to take up next um, I've already told you guys that this is one of the mangas I, um, that I'm planning to do after the anime is done so we can catch up with Slam Dunk. I don't even know if it, it did it finish. Did it? Is it still going on? I don't know. Um, but in any case, I heard some rumors too. I think somebody left a comment or I saw it for myself. I don't remember um, exactly how I came across it that they're trying to bring slam dunk back or something of that in, in um in anime form so that's a rumor that i don't know I, I don't know exactly what's going on with that but we're gonna find out but anyways man um the match is going on the match that is going to determine shohoku's fate in moving on to the next stage because this is Akagi's last year of actually doing something. He, he you know, this is his last year in high, in high school. Um, if he loses this, you know, he's not going to really attain his dream of, you know, winning the championship or regional or whatever. You guys know. <laughs> I don't, you know. But... In any case, as you can see, my eye, my left eye here is, uh, it's a bother. You know, um, I think there's something in my eye. I'm not sure. I think I got it out. I washed my eye out and everything, but it's still bothering me a little bit. So you might see me wiping my eye during these reactions, um, that are coming up. Um, don't mind me. I do a lot of stuff cause I try to be as relaxed as possible when I'm doing my reactions. So, but in any case, we're going to jump in and I will see you guys for the review. All right. So there you go, guys. Four more episodes. I'm going to be putting out. I'm going to be trying to put out four episodes per upload. So we'll get closer to the end as we go on. Um. We got, uh, I think it's 101 episodes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But anyways, these four episodes, pretty calm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think the most exciting thing that happened during these four episodes was Fuku and Rukawa going off. So Fuku going off, he was going off. But, you know, with him dunking on Sakuragi... That was pretty special. You getting dunked on on an alley whoop, you, you just you just don't jump for when alley whoops are coming. Just let him get the basket. But you know, Sakuragi ended up getting hurt, and it was frustrating for him. And I totally understand that frustration of wanting to beat someone and can't beat that someone. I remember when I used to run track. Um, I think I've told this story before. Maybe not on my slam dunk reactions. Um, but I remember when I was running track, when I was in like, um, equivalent of like middle school. Um, uh, so there was this one kid, like I used to win all of my races. I was pretty fast. I was, I was running, you know what I'm saying? When I was in middle school, I was doing a hundred meter dash in like, I think it was like 10.5 seconds. So I was pretty fast back there you know what i'm saying so um there was this one kid when we you know and that was just for my school but then when i went to um we would call it like we playing against other school like running against other school you know in like regional competition right regional competition um, against other schools there was this one kid that I couldn't beat and he was frustrating the hell out of me because I would always come in second 
behind him and it was frustrating so i totally understand what sakuragi is going through when you're trying to beat someone and it's like and the thing about it too in most of the races that i run ran against that kid i always get a bad lane you know what i'm saying in a 200 meter dash so i always got a bad lane to run against them in like i was always like whenever i got to run against them in the finals I always get a bad lane. Not for the 100 meter. It was always a 200 meter because he never ran the 100 meter dash. So I would win those. But a 200 meter dash, you know, um, where the lane and there's the curve, I would always get like lane 7 or 8 when I have to go up against him. And it would frustrate the hell out of me because I'm like, why do I always pick this lane? Because it's not done like how it's done now. You know what I'm saying? Back then you basically for the for the final race you pick your your lane out of like a bucket right so i would always pick like lane seven or eight against him in the finals and it used to frustrate the hell out of me because he would always get like lane three or four i was like if i could get a lane beside this guy i know i could beat him you know what i'm saying lane eight the reason why lane 8 is such a bad lane in track and field, the reason why it is, is because of that long curve. It's that long go around. Yes, you're in the lead at the start. You get what I'm saying? You're in the lead at the start, so you gotta run. You gotta be fast to really, like, win in lane 8. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be fast, fast. You know what I'm saying? So... He, he, he's already fast and he has an advantage over me by getting a better lane you know um i'm not saying that he wasn't faster than me i don't, I don't want to take that from him um i'm just saying like it was always that i would have loved to ran to 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 have ran against him like a lane beside him like he's in lane three i'm in four and it was just to really see if i was faster than him or was that the disadvantage of being in uh, uh, um, him being in a better um, lane than I was, so I can definitely understand the, first, the the frustration of wanting to be beat an opponent, and it's like it just that that person is just so much better than you, and it's not that Fuku is this transcendent player. He's not Rukawa and he's not Sendo for sure, but he definitely got skill. He's a quick learner, as his coach said he is. But at the same time, it, it, it's like you can see that he's very raw. You know what I'm saying? And he's like Sakuraga. I think he learns fast. I don't know if he's a second year or this is his first year also. I think he's a second year. I'm not sure. You guys can definitely correct me in the comment section if you want. But for sure, for sure, when it comes on to, um, you know, Sakuraga just being frustrated about it, I can definitely relate to that. Um, and I think that out of we talking about raw talent, that's definitely who Fuku is. So Sendo turned up, Rukawa turned up, and the thing about Rukawa that I like is like he strategizes and he also analyzes the game different than any of his teammates. You get what I'm saying? He's just a different animal. Like, um, like I picked up on it. I was like, why is he not being aggressive? Why is he now? It's like, I know he's not afraid of Sendo that much. We know that he's not afraid of Sendo. Um, so I was like, he must be reserving his energy or something. And it turns out to be just that. He just, what, well, because he realized what happened in that game. Um, you know what I mean? Like, when um, Akagi got injured and he had to take over, he was done and they had to take him out. Like, I, you know. To go a whole 40 minutes at that pace that's that's you know what i'm saying near to impossible you know what i'm saying not everybody is lebron james <laughs> you know what i'm saying let's just be honest like not everybody can can go 40 minutes in a game um you know lebron can do that for a whole season he can play 40 minutes a game for a whole season on average 40 minutes a game he can do that <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's just crazy to see um um i don't know if he would want to do that at this stage in his career 
but he can definitely do it if he if he wants to you know what i'm saying um but yeah man ruka whatever and turnover um mitsui um is i think the purest shooter as i've said i think he's the purest shooter on the team and when he puts it up like it's 90, 99 probably 99 percent of the time you can say it, it's it's gonna go in like he doesn't miss open shots it has his shots has to be contested to actually for, for for them not to go in you don't see him miss very often um so i'm definitely looking forward to see how this game is gonna end we're in the lead right now with you know what i'm saying by three sakuragi is pumped up let's see what happens anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man that is all i have to say slam dunk is definitely getting wild can't wait to see how this game ends like the video leave a comment and i will catch you guys later man peace